There are several differences between life in Norway and here in the United States. First of all, they get to deal with different types of winter than we do here along the Intermountain West. Winter in Norway is long and cold, and it's dark. Because of the midnight sun in the summer, you get the all-day dark in the wintertime. And so the humidity is very high, and when the temperatures get cold, it gets freezing cold. And the snow depths are amazing. I've never seen so much snow in all my life as I saw in Norway and have many fond memories of walking down the streets with snow piled up six, seven feet high along the eds, edges of the roads. The other thing that's different about food in Norway is that where we eat an awful lot of beef here in the United States, beef was less common in Norway and it was predominantly fish. We ate a tremendous amount of fish being so close to the ocean. It was always fresh and delicious but beef was in short supply because generally what we would eat that was meat was oxen. Also, the other thing that is really quite different about their food, we have bread that is baked in a bakery and then sliced in a machine and comes in a bag and it's very light and airy. Norwegian bread is the best in the world. It's thick. It has a thick crust. It's heavy. It's wonderful. You pick it up fresh every day from the bakery. It comes as a full loaf and you take it home and slice it and put uh, whatever spread and topping you want to put on. It's the best bread in the whole world. What's also different about life in Norway versus here in the U.S., at least for me, was public transportation is such a vital part of how they get around. Having a car is good, but it's not necessary to get any place you want to go. The buses run regularly. And when I say regularly, at many of the stops, a bus comes every 10 minutes. Trains, trains are regular. And they take you exactly where you want to go. And as soon as you get off the bus, off the train, you can pick up a bus, you can get a taxi. And depending on which city you're in, you can even go and catch a subway to get where you need to go. We found it very easy to get around. Did not have a car for two years while I was there. Never had a problem getting anywhere I needed to go because the transportation system was so well run and so abundant for our use. The other thing that's different about uh, life in Norway is that where we can go find a large grocery store and get everything that we need at a single stop. In Norway, though they do have some larger grocery uh, stores, for the most part, you go to the corner market and you pick up your items at a specialty store. You, get, you may get meat at one location, bread in another location, then go and get your milk and your yogurt at the small little corner markets that are in every neighborhood. Makes it really very quaint and nice to get to know everybody who's in the local market and they know you and it's just a short walk from your house to be able to get there. The differences in housing in Norway, where it's so really important for people here to have their own home, in Norway there are plenty of families that own their own homes, but there are also a very large part of the population that lives in apartment buildings or what they call blocks and you can see them everywhere, especially in the larger cities where they're 15, 16 story tall apartment complexes. And as you come out of the elevator on each floor, each family has their name on the front entrance to their apartment. And their apartments are well furnished and meet their needs. But when you find the homes, the homes are generally older, well-kept homes and the thing that impressed me the most is just about every single family home had a mother or father, a grandparent apartment that was in the house because the Norwegians are very good at taking care of their elderly people. When grandma or grandpa gets old and can't take care of themselves, it's always the case that the family will take them in and they will come and live with one of their sons or their daughters and their family and the family accepts them in and loves them and takes care of them and provides for their needs, has a bedroom for them 
and uh, it's really very nice. It was one thing I really enjoyed about being there. The yards are much smaller than what we're used to. But the thing about Norway that is so beautiful, in most every community that you're in, you're in the middle of a forest. Except the biggest cities where downtown is like any other metropolitan area. But not far out of the city center, you'll be in a wooded area and the homes are intermingled and, and uh, sparsely placed out among these beautiful wooded areas that are full of nature. Some additional differences between life in Norway and life in the United States. We find ourselves here in the States being very wrapped up in our work. And it's difficult for us to take time to go on vacation. And when we do go on vacation, we usually spend most of our time thinking about the work we're not getting taken care of at home. That is not the case in Norway. Norwegians take their vacations very seriously. They usually own a hytte or a cabin that's out in the country or up in the mountains or down by the ocean and they love to go to their hytas and spend time. They'll spend lots of weekends there. During the summers when the weather is good, which is very short and it's very temperate in Norway, it's, it's, it's normal that for a few weeks in the summer it averages in the 70s, it's very comfortable. They'll take off and go for two or three weeks on what they call feria, and a lot of times they'll leave the country and they'll head and visit other parts of Europe or other parts of Scandinavia. For many Norwegians in the winter when it's cold, especially when they retire, they like to go down to the Canary Islands or to the Mallorcas and spend uh, where it's warm and then come back in the summertime. But the Norwegians take vacation very seriously. They work hard when they're working and they know how to have fun and relax when they're taking time away from work and it's very important to them. You know, when I lived in Norway for two years, that was a long time ago, things were extremely safe at that time. I was really quite surprised to see that uh, the police officers didn't even carry handguns on them. They usually would carry a baton with them, but that was about it. Uh, I never ever, in two years time, ever was worried about my safety or concern about whether I was going to get into a dangerous area. It always felt very safe. And now I've been back to Norway a couple of times since then, and of course the world we live in is changing. And it's even changing for the Norwegians. And uh, so they take security much more seriously now than they did when I lived there for two years. But it's still a very safe country. I was there three years ago and felt uh, completely at ease, did not worry about where my wife and I went at all, and always knew that there would be friendly, kind, good Norwegians around me. I didn't worry about it.